that's all I really got. Thanks, Ravon. Thank you. Hey, Ravon. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your position group. I mean, you guys are probably one of the strongest position groups on the team, just, you know, with Reggie uh, and you and uh, Jakari just leading the way, and, and Mike when he's healthy. Just talk a little bit about your uh, so far in spring practice and what you guys see out of this group. Um, this, this group is incredible. Um, you have you have to make plays being in this group, or else you're just going to be on the bench. Um, we just we just feed off of each other. We motivate motivate each other, push each other. Um, we just our room is just full of playmakers um, and leaders. So like every day when we come out to practice, it's like a game for us. We do everything full speed and we compete each and every, every day. You've had the chance to shine on the field in the past. Just how much stronger is this group? since last year and how much stronger can this group get especially if Mike gets healthy and and bring it you know, bring in the new guys in this fall this this group this group um, the only way is up from here um, everybody is just only getting smarter stronger faster quicker um, and like we're, we're, just, we're just getting better the games uh, really just slowing down to us everybody's getting older so like I, I feel that this group is just going to be far greater than uh, anybody could imagine Coach Bellamy obviously was uh, gone before you got here, but you know he's back here. He's an Illinois guy. What's that mean to have somebody that's been that's worn the orange and blue before coaching your group? It's it's, it's definitely different um, for him being a former player. Like we we understand even more how much this means to him because he, he's played in the stadium. Do you see that coming out in him? Does he? Uh, Elucidate on that with you know that he played here. He's you know proud of you know the orange and blue and everything, and he wants to instill that on you guys. He d he doesn't he doesn't like say it much, huh? but you can you can just tell you can mm -hmm. tell um, that he played here. You can tell just how much it means to him. What kind of a leader is Reggie Corbin, and uh, how do you see yourself emulating from him? And do you uh, want to take over that leadership role next year when uh, Reggie's gone? For me, um, it's, it's just like what Reggie always says, that there's no just one leader in the, in the group. We're all just leaders in our own way, and we just we just lead the team together. Um, Reggie, he's a, he's a great player. He's a great leader both on and off the field. Um, so just trying to um, just, lead, just lead even more like off the field and build that chemistry with each other um, and just be an outlet like for my teammates to really just become a brotherhood. Due to numbers the last couple of years, they haven't had a what's real, called a real spring game here. This year, they're slated to have one a week from this coming Saturday. What's that mean to you guys? Actually, you know, get to play, you know, a, a game itself, like a scrimmage game. Whether you know, you, you guys usually scrimmage anyway, but what's it mean to actually have a spring game that's going to draw the fans and and kind of play in front and see what you know, give fans a preview of what's going to happen this fall here in this stadium. For us, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's it's great for the fans, but we we try not to just think um, too much about like everything that's going outside. It's it's just it's just another game. That's what practice is for us each and every day. It's just another game for us. Thanks, Rayvon. Thank you.